salutations my friends guess who is back ready for round number two um it's going to be another night here at Oliver Lee State Park. I got a bunch of new warm gear, including some insulated pants, some super insulated socks, and I'm excited to set up my tent. And well, I hope for this goes a lot better than last time. But as always, if you are enjoying my adventures, feel free to like, subscribe, and let me know what snacks I should bring with me next time I go camping. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, friends, I uh, got things a bit more set up, got my kitchen area set up, and I would like to talk to you now about what I'm doing differently this time to make sure I don't get frostbite this go around. So I have laid out on my little picnic table all of the goodies that I have. Um, these are thin slit gloves. My hands were fine last time. My mom had knit me some really cute little orange mittens, but of course Edith got a hold of them because she was missing me and well, they are no more. So I have some thin slit gloves. I also really stepped up my sock game, which I feel weird saying, but hey, it's a sock game. I got some moisture wicking liners that are going to go under these super thick, super warm, extreme cold temperature Cabela brand socks. Um, I did a lot of research on socks. Turns out there is the TOG, which is the thermal overall grade, which is measured in little chili peppers. And this had like, seven chili peppers on there. I have got another pair of socks that are currently hiding from me. I believe, oh, just kidding. I just didn't put them out. These have like nine little chili peppers. So I am excited. I'm going to stay warm. I also have, when I'm sitting by the fire, I have a pair of Columbia brand, they're actually snow pants or ski pants. And as you can see, they got the reflective stuff in there. They are thermal insulating. And then I will be wearing some base layers under there. Uh, these are my jammies. I've got base layer pants, base layer top. And I also have in, what is it, my marmot jacket. You guys have seen me rock this a couple times now. It's very light, but it's very warm and I'm very much okay with that. I also have my Outdoor Vital brand booties and balclava. That'll be going on my head and my feet. So I'm hoping that between my little booties, my <laughs> little moisture wicking socks and the super rad badass socks i should be staying warm tonight so we will find out here pretty quick as the sun is rapidly setting and as i promise i want you to be able to enjoy the sunset so let's go enjoy that Okay, so as you can see, I've got my fire going now. The sun has set as you hopefully enjoyed and it is almost dinner time. And of course, what do you think I'm having? I've got my jet boil. I have my cup of noodles. And once again, are you even camping if you don't have beef jerky? So I'm gonna start making some dinner. I've got a mug of tea that's steeping right now. And yeah, we are going to enjoy dinner, enjoy our fire. Um, I kind of sort of did forget to bring a chair this time. Oops, no camping trip is without some flaw. But if forgetting a chair is going to be my biggest issue, I am so okay with that. The whole purpose is to try and stay warm. Um, another question that people often ask me when I'm camping is, Hey Megan, what are you going to do? Um, they know that I have a very hard time sitting still. I'm always on the go. But the nice part about camping is that I can actually sit still and not be on the go and I can just let my brain decompress and I actually am going to be reading because I am in a book club and I am so far behind on my book and I feel a little bit guilty. So that's what I'm going to do. Make a cup of noodles, have some beef jerky, have some tea and read. And I will figure out the sitting part that's going to be hopefully closer to the fire.
you know what this is pretty dang nice um there's hardly any breeze i can hear all the birds i'm enjoying the sunset look at the clouds over there they're kind of pink i guess you can't really see them but trust me they're pink and it's beautiful my fire is taking off nicely i still haven't made dinner yet because i'm just soaking this in and this isn't bad not bad at all much better than last time if i may say so Okay, so while things are still nice and kind of warm out and I got a little bit of daylight left, um, I had asked people on my Instagram to ask me anything because I know that some of you are kind of still learning who I am and I figured while well, I have time around a campfire, this is the perfect opportunity. So the first one was asking what tent am I using? Is it Walmart or bought from REI? And actually, it's neither. Um, I got this tent back when I worked at Boeing. Um, it was through their point award reward system thing and it's actually a Coleman, which I know you can get at Walmart. I know you can get that at Target, Kmart if that's still around, um, any just general sporting goods store. It's, I know not the best for cold weather camping, but hey, the price was right. And I have a very hard time saying no to free when I'm still making sure I want to do this hobby. Now that I am a bit more involved in camping, Yes, I will be getting a much better attempt here soon. Can't wait to show it to you. Okay, the next question I got was, do I have any goal peaks after Mount Kilimanjaro? Um, no. I think that my biggest goal right now is just to survive Mount Kilimanjaro, which is why I'm doing all this cold camping, which is why I am walking a lot. Ask my pups. Um, I walk every day during the work day. I hit the treadmill at work and just do a nice midday break at the highest incline possible. Um, I just want to survive that right now. I guess afterwards, I would really like to go see the Pacific Northwest. Um, I've seen some beautiful photos of the area and you know, everything you see on Instagram can be a little bit misleading. So I'm not sure how truly representative of the area they are, but yeah, I'd like to go explore the Pacific Northwest. Up next is a question that is near and dear to my heart. One choice has to go away forever, ice cream or popcorn. So, Mike, my dearest beloved, is team ice cream. I'm pretty sure he could have ice cream three times a day, and I am most definitely on team popcorn. I would try and compromise and say let's get rid of popcorn because I enjoy ice cream too. However, lactose issues are real, so I'm sorry ice cream. I'm sticking with my popcorn. Okay, up next, how do you kill and cook a rattlesnake when you're stranded with no supplies? Ugh, I'm pretty sure that the rattlesnake would actually kill and cook me, hopefully medium rare because that is the best way to eat a steak. Um, fun fact for those of you who are in rattlesnake areas, my little puppy Waylon, who you guys have met before on a previous camping trip, he was actually bit by a rattlesnake twice um, in October of 2020 and that was a very expensive bill. There is a rattlesnake vaccine that you can give to dogs and there's a booster that you have to give every six months and it doesn't make it immune, but it will buy you more time to get them to the emergency vet. So if you're in an area, talk to your vet, get your pups vaccinated. I promise it will be money very well spent because well, you know, pups are family and I love them. And I never want Waylon or anyone else's pup to go through a rattlesnake bite again. Okay, last question for now because it's getting a little bit dark out. Are you hiking tomorrow? And right now I don't have an answer for that. Um, this was a particular busy week for both Mike and me between my work, his work, and grad school and camping and car projects. We haven't really seen each other since Tuesday, it's now Friday, and being a newlywed in the honeymoon stage, yes, I do want to go spend time with him. So if I wake up early and I have the energy, I guess, to go hiking, sure, I'll do a little mini one because it is beautiful up here. I know I need to do a lot more of the steep inclines, but I kind of want to go and see my honey, and you can make fun of me all you want.
Okay, friends, we are doing so much better than what we were doing at this time a week ago. Um, I apologize for the bright lantern, but well, we are in a tent. So I am cuddled up. I am just kind of enjoying the night. I'm going to change to my jammies here pretty quick, but I just got everything situated in here. And yeah, dinner was delicious. Um, did some jumping jacks, high knees and running in place and some other little quick cardio things to warm up my blood before crawling in here. I'm going to snuggle up, read my book and call it an evening. I think that is all that I have going through my head right now. So I will see you in the morning, friends. Good night. friends as you can see this is future Megan uh, my GoPro battery died from the cold overnight so I am recording from the warmth of home as I've got well pups everywhere I got Gunner over here Miss Edith is being Edith and I've got Mr. Whalen over here in his little sweater but this camping trip was a huge success I found some socks that work I found the liners that work and when I compare the wind chill from last week to the actual temperature of 19 degrees last night. Yes, everything worked out well. I'm confident that I have a good sleep system that'll work for me in Tanzania when I climb, well, I guess, hike Mount Kilimanjaro. So I'm happy with that. I probably won't go camping next weekend. It's still going to be cold. And even though I have a good system, I think I might want to enjoy my bed at home. So what else do we have going on? Um, we have New York Fashion Week in about two weeks, which is really exciting. We also have a triathlon coming up, and since yours truly hasn't run since about October of 2022, I am going to be taking this child for a run with me more. Although to be fair, she's gonna be dragging me. And then we also have the Death March coming up, so this little tyke will be having a lot of adventures too. And of course, I'll still be taking care of Mr. Gunner Bear, who is currently napping. So with that being said, I, of course, would love if you guys could leave a little like, put a little comment for what snack I should eat next time I go camping, and give this channel a little subscribe. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all soon.